Aid me. Be my eyes. Sunan, guide me. That must be Ferovit's camp ahead. Cold and dirty. Must be the place. Throw yourself in, Gunungagap, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table. Like dogs. Faravid! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Ferevit. This whelp needs scalding. Over piss off. Small men always talk big. So was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Ferevit. The Picts raided that monastery. Plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches and barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. Gold is fine, but victory is our treasure. What's your plan? To open their bellies with my knife. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halftam didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? In truth, he doubts your loyalty. Fears your heart is not in this fight. Doubts my loyalty? I have fought for Hafton, killed for Hafton, bled for Hafton, and he doubts me? Nothing I have seen gives me reason to doubt you. But Hafton, he seems a cautious man. Cautious. He was always leery, but now fear has gnawed him down to the bone. To your arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! <laughs> Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Doracastre. More mead, fewer pigs. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back.
Thank Thor we made it. That was good war work, all. This cave is a passage. The pigs are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. One more enigma to unravel.
odd. What are they for? Places. I should be home filling my belly, not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, <laughs> boil your head. We'll gang forth with our friends soon and then we'll all eat like kings. Heed my words. <laughs> wrong side of the wall. The pigs spoke of Stenweyer, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dins, run! Stop them before they reach Stenweyer! They spotted us! Run forward! Run! Faster! Faster! Ulf! Ulf! Three for Ulf! Try and keep up! Run! The heathens have found us! Chief! The chief wants to know! The big south of the wall. Don't like it. That's the last one. Let us regroup at Stenweyer. We need to plan our next move. Don't raid often during winter. Their scouts are dead. The pigs won't know we're here. The hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the pigs dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the pigs may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. 
Cast about this land, my friend. Game. They will attack on sight here. Now to hunt down the pig chief. Show me.
Attenzione! There's the chief. Now to strike him down. <laughs> Have you come to join me, old fallen? You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ulfur, that's Hafton's share. Eivor! Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The pigs are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That's Dark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the pigs later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. He won't notice one missing cask. So unless there's something wrong with it, let's have a taste. There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A 
little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira. I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? I see. Because Hafton thinks I'm disloyal, now you don't trust me. Has our battle bond earned me no favors with you, Eivor? Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfden's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Halfden is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk, but I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse, but if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. I'll fight with you, Faravit, but I will not lie to Hafton if he asks. If you tell him, he'll demand we forswear our attack. Are you willing to risk a victory like that? Our glory? If I tell him, he'll know what we intend. But we'll fight nonetheless, in spite of his anger. Fear is fear. I must return to Donacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walds. Share shrinks up to each victory, like his cock, eh? Hafton will be waiting for his gift in Donacaster. Do not keep him waiting. I need your eyes, my friend.
our father's down there, looking for treasure. He dove way down deep, but I can't see him anymore. <laughs> That lake goes deep. Did you at least find the treasure? Yes. Take this bracelet, your father's sword. By rights, it's yours. Thank you, brave traveler. We knew you would find it. And what about the father? Did you find him? This lake must serve as your father's grave now, but with this last gift, his memory survives. You mean... he drowned? <laughs> Where's the rest of your family? Mother got sick, and never got better. And now she is under the ground. There is no one else. Rilda, remember? Father, sister, and Jorvik. Sell that trinket for food. Then travel to yond. Your father would wish that. This world is hard, and the gods care not.
Stretch your wings, Sunan.
Survey the area sooner. So many, but most pay you. My eyes and soul do not deceive me. Greetings, Bart. Ah, Eivor of the Ravens. Have you changed your mind about living forever in song? Bit of coin for a soulful tune? Silver comes and silver goes, but the fame of the great endures. Both wise and generous, truly you are history's mightiest champion. Now, hold tight while my muse inspires me. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the hearth skies. Succumb to your fate with a kiss, a blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to your shins. For the one blessing and the one curse is to meet the wolf kissed. Your kennings are weak. However, you make up for it with your clever tongue. Tis the fate of a bard such as I. We give and we give and we get nothing back. So it goes. Farewell, generous champion. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the Raven. Read this name, I pray. Read it, Jesus. Often. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now.
The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You are stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Faravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Faravid asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I am not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Faravid has planned an attack on the pigs at Magnis. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch, she is kind. <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Beonton. We're going for a walk down to the temple. No sense wasting a fine goblet. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Hafton. from rattling skulls, rattle these bones instead. Uh. Eh? is not here. This letter came from Wike. She must have gone there. I should go to Wike, find Moira. <laughs> 